men. O Lord, my God, I call for help by day, I cry out in the night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, incline thine ear to my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, my life draws near the shield. I am reckoned among those who go down to the pit. I am a man who has no strength, like one forsaken among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, like those whom thou dost remember no more. For they are cut off from thy hand, thou hast put me in the depths of the pit, in the regions dark and deep. Thy wrath lies heavy upon me, and thou dost overwhelm me with all thy waves. Thou hast caused my companions to shun me, thou hast made me a thing of horror to them. I am shut in so that I cannot escape, my eyes grow dim. My eyes grow dim through sorrow. Every day I call upon thee, O Lord. I spread out my hands to thee. Dost thou work wonders for the dead? Do the shades rise up to praise thee? Is thy steadfast love declared in the grave for thy faithfulness and perdition? Are thy wonders known in the darkness? Do I save and help in the land of forgetfulness? But I, O Lord, cry to thee in the morning. My prayer comes before thee. O Lord, why dost thou cast me off? Why dost thou hide thy face from me? Afflict and close the death of my youth up by suffering thy terrors, I am helpless. Thy wrath has swept over me, thy dread assaults destroy me, they surround me like a flood all day long, they close and upon me together. Thou hast caused lover and friend to shun me, my companion turned darkness, O Lord, my, o Lord God of my salvation. I call for help by day, I cry out in the night before thee, but my prayer come before thee, incline thy ear to my cry. Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with the good as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works vindication and justice for all you who are oppressed. He made none his ways in Moses, yet his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in steadfast love. He will not always chide, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sin, nor requite us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his steadfast love towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, and he flourishes like a flower of the field. For the wind passes over and it is gone, and his place knows it no more. The steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting and everlasting. On those who fear him, his righteousness to children's children. To those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, O you his angels, you mighty ones who do his work. Hearkening to the voice of his word, bless the Lord, all his, work, his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, and all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplications. Thy faithfulness answer me in thy righteousness. Enter not in the judgment, nor with thy servant. For no man living is righteous before thee. For the enemy has pursued me, has crushed my life down to the ground. He has made me to sin darkness like those long dead. Therefore my spirit faints within me. My heart, my heart within me is a fall I remember the days of old. I meditate on what thy vow has done. I muse on what thy hands have wrought. I stretch, I stretch out my hands to thee. My soul thirsts for thee like a parched land. Make haste, then, and to me, O Lord, my spirit fails. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like those who go, and go down into the pit. Let me hear in the morning thy steadfast love, for in thee I put my trust. Teach me the way I should go, for to thee I lift up my soul. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to thee for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Let thy good spirit lead me on the level path. For thy name's sake, O Lord, to preserve my life in righteousness, bring me out of trouble. And thy steadfast love cut out my enemies and destroy all my adversaries. For I am thy servant, answer me, O Lord, in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, answer me, O Lord, in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant. For thy good spirit lead me on a level path. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever unto ages of ages, O men. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O 
God. It needs us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. What a peace that is from God for the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. What a peace of the whole world, the welfare of the Holy Church, of God, and for the union of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. What a peace of the whole world. Oblation and over and offering. 
Then they shall offer bullets upon thy altar.
and he who by every means was seeking thy conversion, lovingly stretched out a helping hand as to Peter. Let us see, let us see, O soul, our Lord, in God's love for man. So before the end, let us fall down before with tears and cry, by the prayers of Andrew, Savior, have mercy on us. Accept me who repent, save me who have sinned. I am thy creation, despise me not, but spare me and deliver me from the fire of condemnation. Spotless Lady, Mother of God, hope of those who run to thee, the haven of those in distress. Obtain grace for me from the merciful one, thy Son and Creator, by thy prayer.
forsake not thy creation, O just judge and lover of man. Though I alone have sinned more than any man, but being Lord of all, thou hast power to pardon sin. Have mercy on me, O Lord, have mercy on me. The end is drawing near, my soul, it is drawing near, but you neither care nor prepare, the time is growing short. Rise, the judge is near the very doors. Like a dream, like a flower, the time this life passes. Why do we bustle about in vain? Boldly tell your thoughts and deeds to Christ and be forgiven. I am become my own idol, I have injured my soul with passions. I have not listened to thy voice, I have disobeyed thy scripture. But, O merciful Lord, accept me in penitence or call me to awareness of thee. May I never be the possessor of food of the enemy, O Savior. Have compassion on me. receive great grace from God to intercede for those who faithfully honor thee. Therefore we implore thee, deliver us by thy prayers from trials of all kinds. O after our glory of the Father, standing before the transcendent divine trinity, by thy prayers cease not to intercede that we who invoke thee with love may be delivered from torment with divine intercessor, adornment of free. I confess thee to be undivided in essence, unconfused in persons, one triune divinity, co-enthroned and co-reigning. I sing to thee the great song thrice sung on high. is a virgin by nature. He who is born of thee renews the laws of nature, and a womb gives birth without travail. For God wills the order of nature is overruled, for he does whatever he wishes.
Deliver me as to the law, most sovereign Lord, that I may wash the eyes of my soul, and then please see thee, who art that light which was before creation. And thy desire was granted. Make us also worthy to attain to the glory on high. Eminent as the foremost of pastors, O wise Andrew, I pray to thee with great love and veneration that I by the intercessions may obtain salvation and eternal life.
Simeo fought open and out and drawing healing from there. The devil grievously smitten, lamenting as it were, calamity, and cried to his minions, What shall I do with the son of Mary? I am slain by the man from Bethlehem, he who is everywhere present and filling all things. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom.
thy supernatural childbirth, without divine the natural glory of thy child, O Mother of God, for he, for he is confessed to be one person and twofold in nature.
conversion, accept me for repent, have compassion on me as I cry against thee, only have I sinned, and I did lawlessly, have mercy on me. I have reviewed all the people of the Old Testament as examples for you, my soul. Imitate the God-loving deeds, the righteous, and shun the sins of the wicked. And have mercy on me. Though no one has sinned against you, as I yet accept even me, O compassion, Savior, repenting with fear and crying with love. Against the only of my sin, I have done wrong. Have mercy on me. Like the robber, I cry, remember me. Like Peter, I weep bitterly. Release me, O Savior. I croak like the publican. I weep like the harlot. Accept my lamentations once. Thou hast accept the Canaanite woman. Bear, O Savior, thy own creation, seek as shepherd thy lost sheep, snatch the stray from the wolf, and make me a pet lamb in thy sheep pasture. The mother, the unwaning light, enlighten thee and free thee from the darkness of the passions. So now thou art amid the grace of the Spirit, enlighten, O Mary, those who faithfully praise thee. Intercede, I implore thee, that by thy prayers I may now find release from the chain of my sins. O teacher, repentance, glory of sins. Holy Spirit. Eternal Father, co-eternal Son, gracious Comforter, Spirit of Truth, Father of the divine Word, worthy Eternal Father, living creative Spirit, Spirit Trinity, unity of mercy on the law. Father's virgin within thy womb, the spiritual purple was woven in the flesh of Emmanuel. Therefore we honor thee in truth, Mother of God.
sick, the word has lost its power. Life is ebbing, the end is at the doors. What then will you do, wretched soul, when the judge comes to try your king? Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. I have reviewed most the count of the creation, the world, my soul, and then all canonical scripture, which tells you the story of the righteous and the unrighteous. But you might as well copy the latter, not the former, and have sinned against God. I am bringing before you an example from the New Testament, my soul, to lead to your compunction. So emulate the righteous and avoid falling the sinners, and regain Christ's grace by prayers, fast, purity, and reverence. Christ became man and called to repentance, robbers and harlots, repent my soul, the door of the kingdom is already open, and the transformed Pharisees, publicans and adulterers are seizing it ahead of you. Regard me then with thy merciful eye, and spare me, O Jesus. Now have compassion on me, who sin more than all mankind. Amen. 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 with the Creator of all on behalf of those who praise thee, O Holy Mother, that we may be delivered from the sufferings and afflictions that beset us on all sides, that being delivered from our temptations, we may unceasingly magnify the Lord who glorify thee. Father, shepherd of Crete, cease not to pray to God for those who sing of thee, that he may deliver from anger, oppression, corruption, and our countless sins, all of us who are faithfully honored by memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trinity of one essence, personal unity, we sing thy praise, glorifying the Father, magnifying the Son, and adoring the Spirit. Who are truly one God by nature, life and lives, kingdom unending. Protect this city, spotless mother of God, for in thee it faithfully reigns, and in thee is made strong, and through thee it conquers and rounds every trial and temptation, and spoils its foes and rules its subjects.
according as we have hoped on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Lord, thou hast been our refuge in generation and generation. I said, O oh Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against thee. O oh Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For in thee is the fountain of life, and in thy light we shall see light. O oh, continue thy mercy unto them that know thee. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us drink the offering in prayer to the Open and watch the door of your room. 
the wrath of spirit, chastity, and humility, and patience, and love to thy servant. Yes, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own sins, not to judge my brother or my sister, for blessed art thou in the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, Christ our God, our only sure hope. Glory to thee. Of our heart, we have to change those things 
Uh, so next year we'll, we'll change the books and make sure they're up to date and make sure they're right. And I know where I put them. Um, I'm going to find them after service. I know it. But I'm going to just put them in a box somewhere. Um, but it's a good reminder to us that this is what we do as the church. Uh, we always prepare. We always introspectively look at our own heart. Right? I love it how St. Andrew, he wrote this, this canon for himself. And the story goes that uh, when the monothelite heresy uh, kind of raised up, he was on the wrong side of the argument. He was with the heretics at first. He thought he made a pretty good argument. And he realized when he was wrong, and he was so sorry for what he did, he wrote this canon about himself. It's a conversation of him and his soul and how he needed to repent. And it was in his private ethics later on after his life that people found this and said, this is amazing, we need to share this with people. Now the whole world has it. It wasn't written for you or me, it was for him. But because it's so beautiful, we can glean so many beautiful things off of it. So he's not condemning us, you sinners. He's condemning himself. And that's how we read this. You don't you know, say, you know, have mercy on you, the guy next to me, or whatever. It's have mercy on me, O oh God. That we can change the way we act, the way we think, what the things that we do that are wrong. And ask God through his grace to come change our hearts to become the people he's called us to be. And so sometimes people say these services are heavy and they're so difficult and dark or they're so morbidly, you know, about our sin. You're missing the point. Uh, it's kind of stirring us up a little bit to remind us of the things we have to repent of. That it's time, we haven't done it yet during Lent, to to prepare for that, you know, great and holy week that's coming very quickly. So let us give thanks to God that we have these opportunities. And the church doesn't say, oh, figure it out on your own. But as a loving mother gives us these beautiful things to guide us, to direct our attention, uh, and to bring us to Holy Week and Pascha prepared if we just follow the directions. Uh, and thank God we have a church that directs us to these things. Um, so thank you all for being here tonight and for your, your prayers for this um, beautiful, beautiful hymn that St. Andrew gives us. To, uh, tomorrow we have uh, His Eminence, our official Mark, will be here with a clergy meeting. Um, and then Friday night we'll have the Acopis and Mother of God. Uh, we have the beautiful icon on the back wall that was actually given by St. Patriarch Tikhon to a parish that is now closed. Um, but as a gift of the Patriarch, then Archbishop of America, at the early stages of their mission life. Uh, I found it in the, kind of covered over in a, you know, a church that was closed. They forgot what it was. Uh, and we are, the, by the Archbishop's blessing, the recipients of this, to have this icon that's supposed to be used for that Acopis on the 5th of Saturday, Friday, Saturday of Lent, that we have it to use it. Uh, and so we'll pray before it on Friday night. Uh, so thank you all again for being here. God bless you. Let's come better the icon and go home thanking God for what he's given us, uh, especially the St. Andrew Creed for his offering, and St. Mary of Egypt for the example of how to repent. Amen.